some of these islands aren't even visible during the day because of the tides, but there'll be like a tiny little p- piece of rock that'll like, you know, poke out of the sea. And the, the Chinese have built basically like bases on a lot of these. Mm. Um, they're, they're extending their footprint into the water, much like Jesus Christ. Uh, and there is, uh, there is a sort of, I believe a, a a desire within the U.S. military hierarchy to basically put our forces back into the Philippines, or if barring that, to really integrate our forces more with theirs, because that would be our launch pad for China, and that would sort of be okay. You guys have these fucking islands. Well, look, we have this giant, you know, basically huge ally with a military and an air force and a navy right at your fucking doorstep. Um, yeah, and that was what was so key, right? Because during Duterte's uh, reign, I don't know why I That's said good. that. Hey, I don't hey, like if, that. If, if, if the guy's a strong man, we're doing rain. Uh, yeah, it's going to be one of those regime posters. They got to stop fucking posting with that. Um, no, but he pulled out of a very key military alliance with the U.S., and this was a big, this is a big fucking deal. Now, he's since, like, reinstated that, I think, right before yeah. his departure. Um and of course, the Philippines has historically, I mean, that's like what the, look, the U.S. is basically always, it was a former colony. They've always owned yeah. the U.S., right? I mean, they, what they went to war over it with the Spanish, but they really just bought it from the Spanish. Yeah. Um, yeah, they killed, uh, I think, 200,000 to a million Filipinos at the yeah. early, in the, the, the first years of the 20th century. And then from, I think, like 1901 to about 19, I think, like 50, it was pretty much a direct uh, U.S. colony, um, especially, especially in the early years. Um, and uh, sorry, there's someone with a walkie-talkie outside my room, but I, it's, I assume it's something to do with the sex hotel. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was basically a directly, a directly administered U.S. colony for a while, and then a just regular kind of colony where we had a bunch of people there. Douglas MacArthur was there. And then World War II, occupied by the Japanese for two years, and then MacArthur returns takes over the country again, and then we let them have their little freedom a few years later in return for 10 billion CIA agents coming to the country and killing anybody who wanted actual independence. Um, and uh, Marcos was a, a strong ally uh, during that period, and uh, th- during that period actually you know, contributed troops to the Vietnam War, um, but it is, uh, it is a relationship that has been very, very, very close. We had a ton of military bases there, uh, total impunity for our troops there, and um, due to popular demand in the Philippines, those bases were eventually kicked out. And now I think uh, there are several parties that are regretting that deal. <laughs> 